What's up, gang? I'm not looking my best today. I went to a Limp Biscuit concert earlier in the week and literally caught pink eye. Buzz, your girlfriend. Woof. I figured I'd use that punk rock new metal energy to create you guys a Zilla Kami style tutorial. A few of you have been asking after this artist that has just over a million monthly listeners. This is a fresh take on hip hop and trap that isn't a million miles away from the sound of Rico Nasty, but feeling a little bit more DIY and grunge. This sound isn't particularly hard to make. We need just a few instruments. So I figured I'd make it in real time with you this week. Let's dive into it. Right, so the sounds of Zillakami. What I want to do is start off with the drums. I've got a murder kick here, a murder snare, and just a trap hi-hat. We're gonna create a very simple trap pattern at the BPM of 155. I think that will work nicely. I want to use the Ample Metal Eclipse guitar and first off I'm going to change the sound to the Mouth for War preset. It's just a little bit crunchier than the standard default preset. You'll want to make sure that strum mode is turned on. What this allows you to do is use the keys on the left hand side of the keyboard to choose the chord that you're going to strum and then when you hold C you'll be able to create a strumming pattern. What I want to do is get this in the right key. So I'm going to go to plus nine. So I have this E, F sharp and D available. I want to do something with the power chords here. I want to make this my own a little bit. So as you've probably noticed, it's playing off of the sequencer here. I'm going to delete these notes and then create my own pattern. I'm going to do something very simple, something like this. It's going a little bit fast because we're at the BPM of 155, so I'm going to quantize that to eight notes. I kind of like that pattern, but I want to just add a little bit of flavor. So what we're going to do with this other power chord here is I'm just going to make this a minor seventh. As we move from the E power chord to the minor seventh, we're just moving from the E and foreshadowing the D here before returning to that E power chord and then down to the D power chord there. But of course we want to get this pattern into the piano roll. So we just come down to drag to host and drag that pattern into the arrange page. The only thing we have to do now is match that pattern to what we're performing with the left hand. Hopefully be able to draw this out. I think it should be like that. Now plugins like this are quite CPU heavy. So what I'm gonna do with Ample Sounds Guitar is come to the settings and then move this start point way back to zero milliseconds. It should make sure that it's in time with the click and the drums a little bit better. I'm just gonna EQ it a little bit more to roll off the lows and get rid of some of that harsh fret noise around the two kilohertz region. Don't forget that this episode is sponsored by DistroKid. I realized that Spotify are doing a new search and discover mode that helps you get your music in front of a wider audience. And you can claim that artist.spotify profile as well as Apple Music profile really easily through your subscription with DistroKid. To get 7% off your first year with DistroKid, just use the link in the description below. Let's dive back into it. We want to add our bass. And for this, I'm going to use another Ample Sound Guitar from the Metal series. This is the R bass, and I'm just using this in the Adidas preset. Like the guitar, I'm making sure that there's no other effects, no room sound, no delay, anything like that. We're going to keep this very simple. I think we're just going to play the E and the D. I think that's really simple in keeping with the guitar. Nice and simple, nice and easy. I think we do one more thing with the bass just to make it a little bit different. Maybe add an extra note here so it doesn't just sound like a bar of two. And then let's round off that bass by adding the EQ8. We're gonna use the color limiter for saturation rather than the saturator. I think it gives more of like a growly tone to the bass. And then the glue compressor, because it can be quite hummy. I want to add like an easy E kind of cruising down the street nod. So that kind of pattern, whatever works. Let's see what we've got. Is it working a lower? I want to do it in the lower octave, but let me know in the comments if I've made the bad decision. Let's see. 
We don't want to waste time by recording that twice. So we're just going to command J it and then duplicate it up. So currently that's the loop that we have. I'm going to change those hi-hats just a little bit because they do sound out to me quite a bit. I realize I didn't quantize these drums. So let's quantize them. I'm going to grab every other hi-hat and I'm just going to pull those down a little bit. So the downbeats are much louder than the upbeats. And then let's duplicate those hi-hats down the page. Now there's a slight bit more bounce to the hi-hat rather than it being at full velocity all the time. Let's try and arrange this up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is actually save this for later. Maybe bring it in here. I'm going to duplicate these down and I'm going to take off everything at this mark of the track. Let's try this with an actual Zillakami vocal and see if it works. Bring the guitar down. I think this could be moved up. That's better. There we have it guys, another episode. What did you think about this on the spot episode? Do you wanna see me make more beats in real time? If so, which artist should we take inspiration from? I've been Will, I've got Pink Eye. This episode was sponsored by DistroKid and I'll see you next time. <laughs>